Hello friends, welcome back to another video. We are going to be doing some nail art today. Hopefully it will turn out nicely. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna, I'll put the look up on the screen, but once upon some summer that I can't remember, I did like a, um, kind of like a Skittle, but with nail art and it was really cute. And so I kind of want to redo that for a spring look, which is what I'm going to do today. My hope is to do a purple on, a purple on my pinky with like some white, like mini dots. I'm going to do yellow with like a little heart winking kiss type of look. Not like a kiss, a wink smiley face. Uh, green with some sort of flower. I'm calling it a daisy, but I don't know if that's actually what's going to end up happening. And then a blue to pink kind of gradient on this finger. So that is what we are going to do. I'm going to paint all the fingers the same color. Like I'm going to paint this hand too, but I don't think I'm going to do the nail art on this hand because I just don't think I have that in me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put on my garlic base coat uh, from Dimension Nails and get this look going. So for all the base colors, I'm gonna be using Orly. I have Provin Province at Dusk for the purple. I'm gonna be using uh, af Golden Afternoon for the yellow and then Hot Pursuit to kind of make this little heart that I'm hoping turns out okay. Um, I also have Artist's Garden dance with me and blue iris so i have all almost all of the spring colors from their newest collection and then just a few one just one thrown in there what's the other pink was it pink i don't know i have most of the spring collection for this look that i'm doing i'm just gonna go ahead and paint all the base colors on For the gradient that I'm going to do on this first finger, I went ahead and just did a coat of one of the colors and I found that that helps kind of blend everything. And then now I'm going to go in with some like liquid latex to attempt to save my <laughs> finger from all of the sponging. You will still see the um, like bottom. What am I saying? You'll still see the base color of all these. So I am going to do two coats of all of that except for this one. Um, but yeah, two coats of all of the base colors.
thing that I have learned about gradients is that you want the polish like the um what am I saying the coat underneath to be like completely dry before you try to do another coat you want to load up your sponge every time and then also um, only do like a max maybe of I don't know like three or four kind of stamps so like across each section if that makes sense and for the first one I'm just trying to get that color everywhere see it's already starting to pick up can you see that where are we at hello hello can you see it's already starting to pick up that polish that was underneath so if you keep stamping it it's just gonna like keep jacking it up so we're gonna stop with this right now let this completely dry and then we'll try again um, I think I'm hoping one of the easier ones will be the polka dots so we're gonna move on to that this video is kind of gonna be all over the place really just based on how how I'm feeling and how it's going so I'm gonna get some white because I want to do just like really little like not more than like six or seven little polka dots and I have two different dotting tools from Maniology it's the brush set with dots and then brushes so I'm gonna test out this one that one might be good and test out this one I think I'm gonna do the smaller one I think the bigger one is gonna be exactly what I don't want I'm so bad at dots like I am so terrible at like getting them even but we're gonna do three down the middle that's not awful they're not in the center but and then just two on the side and that's it I'm cleaning off my dotting tool and trying to make them oh no I'm trying to make them even <laughs> And then the other two and that's it so this is it for this nail see like that just does not look very cute maybe I should put one on this top part like here and here that's better okay here we go we saved that so there is that's the best part about these nails is like you can make them as simple as you want but it's gonna be a huge impact because they're all different but there's little polka dots beauteous okay that one is done i'm gonna let that dry i think i'm gonna do a third coat on this yellow just because i feel like it needs to be a little more vibrant that's better there was just a couple spots where i saw some dark places okay so the next one is gonna be this guy and it's the flower and i'm a little worried about the flowers i'm not entirely sure how i want to do them um, I'm just going to do one, like, big one, ideally. I want the petals to be white, which we already have. Um, but I'm trying to remember, like, how I have seen them done on other videos. I'm trying to remember how I've seen them done on other videos. I have a ton of nail art brushes, and I feel like people will just, like, get some polish and then, like, do some swoop out and I feel like I could do that like that that's kind of a flower enough you see the little thing right there <laughs> we'll see I have learned that putting some oil on your brush like your nail art brush gets you really nice results so I go ahead and clean that polish off of it and then put some nail oil on it to keep those bristles looking not crazy so all clean and like hopefully you can see um they're just a little like wonky so we are gonna put i guess technically i'm gonna put this onto this little nail oil just run it through the nail oil to make them Make it a little less crazy. 
and hopefully that'll give you like a cleaner line. We shall see. Okay, so I'm just gonna like, I think I'm just gonna go for it and hope for the best. So I've seen them like start in the middle and just like flail it out. But I wanna keep moving my nail so that it looks like petals coming from the center. Oh no, we're getting crazy here. Okay, I know it doesn't look like a flower, but I think I can fix it. I think what I'll do is do like the yellow center and then with like some little black like dots in the middle. I feel like this side looks a little less flowery. I'm kind of fixing it by like dry brushing to make it look more petally. I don't know if that exactly looks like what I wanted, but that's what we're doing. Okay, and then like I said, I'm gonna do, grab another dotting tool, like kind of a bigger one since my flower ended up being large. And I'm gonna use that same yellow just to throw on a little yellow center. Well, that already looks like a cutie flower. And then, no, I don't wanna make it bigger because that's gonna cause all kinds of problems. I'm going to take this smaller one and do a couple just little black like speckles. But actually, I have one that's not even a dot. It's like a... It's literally just like, like a curved kind of end. All right, so I have this one that's like not even a dot and I'm just gonna do like, Oh no, I feel like I ruined it. Maybe just one more. <laughs> Add another one, that makes it better. Hmm, well I'm not redoing it. So that's what we're going with. Okay, oh, I should have just left it. So I think we can probably go in with another uh, gradient. So I'm just gonna load up my, my sponge again. Load up both colors and make sure you're putting it on the right way. And then go in again and not use, like not stamp it down too many times. And then move it up and down. So like, instead of just going in the same place like over and over and over again, kind of wiggle it around a little bit and that like wiggle it a little bit this way and a little bit this way, not too, too much, but just enough so that it will kind of overlap each other. And I think that's all we're gonna do with this this turn. I wish I could get some more of this blue down in there, but yes, that's all we're gonna do with this turn. And we will come back to that one. 
Okay, next I feel as though I need to start this one, which is the next one that I'm kind of scared to do. Okay, so my idea is to take this Hot Pursuit, this really bright pink, and do like a heart for one of the eyes, like a little mini heart, and then just a regular like face. Hopefully this turns out, we'll see. So I need two little dots, that's why I've always seen people do hearts. So I'm gonna do one dot, and, oh, that one's small. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. One dot and another dot. Okay, so that'll be the top of my heart and like the one little eyeball. Then I've seen people go in with like the tiniest brush. That looks really big. I've cut the brush on the end of this one. To make it like really small so let's see how that goes oh my gosh this is nerve-wracking wait 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 okay wait 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 <gasps> wait that's a beautiful heart okay wait, let me fill in this little section All right, I'm not messing with it anymore. Look how cute this is. Not messing with that guy anymore. So that's what I wanted. I wanted a heart for like the one little eyeball and then for the other eyeball, I feel like it needs to be like a little bit bigger just to compete a little bit with the heart. Now the worst part is gonna be the mouth. <laughs> I scrapped this from the summer look because of the mouth. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. But I want it to be like, I don't know, I want it to be like really skinny. Maybe I should just make it like really little. Oh, 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 I think we're leaving that. Let me just try to do this this way again. Okay, wait, it's not terrible. This side got a little wonky. You know, if I start fixing it, it's gonna look crazy. What do I do? Do I just leave it? I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna leave it. Cause once you start messing, it's gonna be a mess. Okay, so we are almost done. Oh my gosh, wait, they look really cute, right? Do we think they look cute? I'm gonna go ahead and put, um, do I wanna do that? I'm trying to decide if I wanna put dry drops on it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the top coat on my thumb because that's just needs to dry. It just needs to dry and be done. I guess I could poke it out with my thumb. It didn't take that long. Which one did I use? This one? Let's poke it out the thumb. Let's do a little bit more than four nails. Dude, nail art is hard. <laughs> Not a fan. Like I really try and I know that like some things turn out okay, but it's just like, it really is hard. I don't know how to do this. Okay, down the center, one. Down, hopefully the center, two. Then I'm gonna do on the end. And then in the middle. 
of like the other ones. Like that. The thumb is a little bit bigger. Should I do three rows? There and there. I can go down. That's pretty polka dotted. That's pretty good. All right. Keep going. Top. Middle, 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 I'm a little janky. All right, so we will not be top coating anything right now. We've done the hardest parts of this look and I kind of think it looks really cute I feel like it's fun okay so I don't think I need any of this anymore all we need is the sponge normally if I'm doing like a full gradient look I will have my little fan out and like dry the nail with my little handheld fan but since we've been messing with the other nails so much really think I need <laughs> I don't really think I need to use the fan is what I'm trying to say okay okay then just try to keep it lined up with where you've been doing it and again like move it up and down a little bit don't do too many presses it's gonna look crazy. They don't always look lovely until you take, until you top coat them. So just have a little bit of confidence in yourself <laughs> and hope for the best. This spot right here is really pissing me. All right, I think I'm gonna do one more coat of this because I kind of jacked it up, but everything else is looking really cute. This one I'm really proud of. It came out better than I thought. Um, this one came out better than I thought. I'm dealing with this because I don't want to change it. And we're gonna do another coat on that, so fun. Okay, I have been filming for a hot second, so I went ahead and um, like just turn the camera off. I painted my other hand just like a Skittle Manny and then I did the smudge free top coat on the rest of my nails. Here's the gradient. Let me see if it will. Again, it's not my best gradient I've ever done, but it's acceptable. I kind of wish I would have went with a different color combination for this finger. It just doesn't feel like it fits, but yeah, that's just where we're at the only thing I have to do is put on top coat which is literally my least favorite thing of uh, nail art because it's my favorite thing because I feel like it makes the nail art look better but it's my least favorite thing because this is where it all fucks up <sighs> so hopefully it's not awful and it will just be okay And I kind of float the top coat so I don't drag the brush in anything. Oh, okay, that one turned out okay. I'm gonna do this one next. And then honestly this one, the black I always do last because black seems to drag no matter what you do. So I'm gonna do that one last probably. Do these little polka dots. And then again, I'm just, I'm not even like touching my nail with the brush. I'm just touching with whatever top coat is on the end of my brush. Okay, last one. I'm a little scared, not gonna lie.
All right, I think they overall look really cute. I'll go ahead and pop up a picture after I like oil and all of those things. And then I'm just gonna throw top coat on these. Um, I, I guess that's it. I'm just gonna throw top coat on these. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed seeing this spring little kind of nail art skittle. I really liked doing the one for summer. And I just had this one in my brain that I've been wanting to do for a couple days, so yes. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.